Hello and welcome. This is Azriel Wavern diving back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Okay, that was odd. Uh, okay. Yeah. The camera light on the computer I'm keeping an eye on the video and chat on ended up having the camera light on it come on, so that was odd. But even if the camera is running, I've got duct tape over it, so <laughs> yeah. And if they're recording my voice, they'll <laughs> be just getting to hear what you guys are hearing anyways. So Let's see, we were in Zexel. Barian Vengeance. Dawn Thousand, the deity of the Barians, appeared before Vector. They have defeated me, but our battle is far from finished. Next time I'll crush them once and for all. All I require is the strength. And if the ancient Barian legends are true, Don Thousand, I offer you my life force in exchange for your great power. You woke me to plead for a favor, the gift of my power. Why? There is someone I must defeat once and for all but I can't do it without your help. You speak of Astral. Yes, and his pest of a friend, Yuma Tsukumo. Give me the power to defeat them, and I'll do whatever you ask. Discover the locations of the seven Metherian numbers. Seven Metherian numbers? Retrieve them, and we will be unstoppable. If that's what it takes to beat Yuma and Astral, then consider it done. Once receiving Don Thousand's power, Vector visited Mizar and Duman. As you know, Astral has always been a threat to us. Many ages ago, when he defeated our great deity, Don Thousand, and cast him to the depths of the Great Barian Sea. For some reason, Don Thousand doesn't look right. And for some reason, thinking about the anime with him, I keep thinking it's Don Thousand Eyes, but I'm not 100% sure, so, yeah. If he continues absorbing numbers, he'll soon be in a position to completely destroy Barian World. But never fear, Vector is here. I have learned a way we can stop him. When we acquire them, we can wield the power to crush Astral. If your information is correct, then it is imperative we find those numbers before Astral does. We could discover something else. If we travel to the human world, we may find clues that could lead us to Nash. To Nash? It seems like only yesterday we seven Barian emperors had our ranks reduced to five when our fearless leader Nash and Marin disappeared from Barian world. Okay. Pretty sure in the anime he didn't want them to be found, but okay. We may be led to our first uh, we may be led to our lost friends as we explore the dimensional doorways. Vector is right. We must split up and begin our search immediately. This better work, Vector. Meanwhile, Astral had a vision of Don Thousand, which caused a map to appear in the airship. Astral then summoned Yuma and friends to the airship. Next time you bring us to your airship, how about a heads up? 
I'm sorry, but this is a ma this matter is rather urgent. I was here on the deck when this planetary map unexpectedly appeared. There are ancient ruins at each of the marked locations. And more importantly, there are seven numbers hidden there. The seven numbers? Along with the map, there was also a message from your father. My dad? Yes, he says we must collect the seven Metherian numbers before the Barians do. And nothing's going to stop me. Astral, lay out a course for the first sight. This airship's going full throttle. Everyone headed to the Spartan city in search of the first of the seven Metherian numbers, where they met old friends. Dextra and Nistro? Actually, it was the second site where they ran into Dextra and Nistro. The first one uh, was a bit of a maze, and I think it was a tropical jungle area. But, yeah. And they ended up finding out that that uh, each of the Metherian numbers were related to the Barian emperors from their previous lives, which they lived as humans. Yuma, you're a site for sore eyes. Well, at least they found that out for um, the one that ended up helping them along though he was helping them to try not to blow his cover while he was weakened, because he almost hit Astral's airship, and ended up being rescued by Yuma. But he was in his human form, so no one recognized him as a Barian Emperor. So, yeah. So you went pro, Nistro? I know it's a big career change, but we decided we wanted to give young people hope. As the dueling superhero, Nistromo, the Star Voyager, I could give fans a hero they could look up to. What brought all of you to Spartan City anyway? We're on a mission. We're looking for some ancient ruins. Dextra showed Yuma and friends where the ruins were located. However, Alito made it to the Metherian number first. That looks like a number card. That card is mine for the taking. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Alito. Yuma Tsukumo. I'm glad to see you're okay. I was worried about what happened to you after our duel. As you can see, I'm fine. You've completely recovered, and I can't wait to step into the ring with you and have a rematch. Nistro, you're a duelist, right? Then you'll love this card. Check it out. Hold on, this is a number card? That's right. You will now use it to defeat Yuma for me. Ah, what are you doing? Stop. I must eliminate all threats to Barian World. Winning this duel is the only way to free Nistro from Alito's mind control. Story deck. Frozen Rose. Wondering why that wasn't in um, Akiza's deck in the uh, 5Ds part of the game. I'll go first. Okay, let's see. Here's ZW Leo Arms. Utopia Ray. Utopia... Well, Utopia Ray Victory. Utopia Ray. Utopia. Terror Bite. 
Leviathan Dragon, Crimson Armor Shadow Ninja, Excalibur, Gaga Ga Cowboy, and Baby Turagon. It's funny that Baby Turagon always ends up in Yuma's extra deck, even when he doesn't even have one-star monsters. Um... Okay. I will set hope for escape. And let's see. I will set Ga 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 Gardna and end my turn. for all of those, which would say I would only be able to summon Utopia, or Leviathan. level floors, uh, increase by 1,000, making it 25,000, but that would only be reduced by 500, so it would be at 2,600. So, in that case, Utopia would be my best bet. So I will summon Gagaga -ga -ga Magician. And special summon Gagaga -ga -ga Child. Activating its effect to become a level 4. Once per turn, when a level 4 or lower is special summoned. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well. Okay. Guess I will end my turn. he does damage, then yes. Activate, hope for escape. Okay. Uh, once per turn, you can banish one monster from your graveyard. Okay. Okay. But with, uh, huh, yeah, I think I will set Go 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 Golem, 
and let it be destroyed. Gaga Caesar. And special summon Gaga Ga Child. Which it's going to get destroyed if I'm correct. Activate its effect. And end my turn. Well, actually, 1,000 from... Yeah, I'm dead either way, so surrender. Yes. If you use XYZ shift on heroic champion, uh, champion Excalibur to number 39 Utopia... Okay. Okay. But that's if I can manage to get any XYZ out. Okay. I will summon... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, try to summon... Uh, um... Yeah, I'm thinking... I normally go for Utopia, but... If I can get Excalibur out, then that would be great. Target two face-up attack position monsters you control with the same attack. One of them can attack your opponent directly, and the other cannot attack. Okay. I will set Nitwit out wit. And summon Goblinberg. Using its effect to bring out Gaga -ga Gardena. And XYZ summon. Hmm. I think I will go with Excalibur. Control one stoic challenge, equip only two face up XYZ. Gain six hundred attack for each XYZ material. Attach to a monster you control, and any battle damage your opponent takes from battles involving it and their monster is doubled, but its effects cannot be activated. During your opponent's end phase, send this card to the graveyard. And this card leaves the field. Of course. Of course. So, I will set G 
Gaga Ga Child. Or actually, mm, I should have summoned him and then used both Gaga Ga. Or no, yeah, cross attack then Gaga Ga Bolt. Or I could have used Gaga Ga Bolt. Well, yeah, because using it on Stoic Challenge would have been a waste. So, battle phase. Heroic Champion Excalibur will attack the face down. And end my turn. Summon Gagaga -ga Caesar and activate Gagaga -ga Bolt. Targeting Gandiva. And Caesar cannot attack. Oh can't attack unless you control another Gaga Ga monster. So I will end my turn. Of course. Summon Gagaga -ga Magician. And attack Extra Sword. Then end my turn. Gaga -ga girl and end my turn. Hmm. Ending my turn. Goblinberg activating his effect. Let's see. 
And I will bring out Gaga Gola. Uh, er, Gardna. Not Golem. Don't know why I said Golem. And XYZ summon Utopia. my turn. Target an XYZ monster. Detach one material from it, and if you do, special summon one curry vault from the deck. turn with three curry vaults and no other monster. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll summon Go 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 Golem. And attack a curry vault. Then end my turn. Lionheart's a one star. Okay. up XYZ monsters on the field with two or four, uh, two or more materials cannot be destroyed by card effects. An XYZ monster you control battles an opponent's monster, destroy the opponent's monster. That XYZ material monster must have two or more materials to activate and resolve the effect. And Lionheart. Uh, cannot be destroyed in battle. When you take battle damage involving this card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount of damage you took. If this battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, detach material. Your opponent takes the battle damage you would have taken. Hmm. Okay. So I will summon Gaga Ga Magician. and activate Gaga Ga Bolt to destroy XYZ tribal rivals. And attack Night Watchmen. 
then end my turn. Gaga Ga Magician will attack the face down. Then end my turn. evacuation device and end my turn. Yes, activate compulsory evacuation device on Lionheart. And I will activate... Hmm, no I won't. Battle phase. Gaga Ga Magician will attack. Clasp Sword and end my turn. Okay, I will summon Go 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 Golem. And with the same attack, so can it be used on those two? Okay. Battle phase. Gaga Ga Magician will attack the face down. And Go Go Golem will it make a direct attack. And okay. Nistro, are you okay? Yuma, what's going on? I wish you'd told me you were taking on these barians, Yuma. Just give me the word and I'll drop everything to help you. No thanks, I'd never let you abandon your dream. You told me you wanted to give all of your fans hope. You're not gonna let them down, are you? Of course not. Maybe you should keep this number card, too. Okay. Barian Vengeance from Nistro's side. Okay. Utopic Onomatopoeia. Interesting. I'll go with paper. And I'll go first. Okay, let's see. Lionheart is three level ones. Kusanage is three level fours. And Gandiva is two level fours. Okay. So, let's see. When this is special summoned by the effect of Hero Challenger monster, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand can only use the effect of class sword once per turn. During your standby phase, you contribute this to special summon two heroic challengers from your hand or graveyard except ambush soldier. Can only use this effect. Okay. 
during either player's turn. If you control a heroic monster, you can send this from your hand to the graveyard. For the rest of this turn, take no battle damage. Okay. And when normal summoned, you can special summon one heroic challenger double lance from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Okay. So, I will set Heroic Challenger sword, si uh, sword Shield and call it the Haunted. Then end my turn. Summon Curry Vault and activate its effect, targeting Utopia Ray, getting rid of Utopia. And activating that, Curry Vault's effect. Targeting Utopia Ray to get rid of XYZ Shift. And XYZ Summon Lionheart. Cannot be destroyed in battle. When you take battle damage, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the amount you took. If it battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, detach one material. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken that battle. Okay. So. And ending my turn. Okay. <laughs> Computer is obviously not too smart. Uh, yes, activate Call of the Haunted to bring back Sword Shield. I will set pinpoint guard and summon double lance. Okay. 
Okay. And XYZ summon Gandiva. Level 4 or lower is special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Accept damage step. Okay. So, okay. Battle phase. Gandiva will attack Gaga -ga, Ga Girl. And. So house's effect being cancelled. Call of the Haunted's being cancelled as well. So okay. End my turn. Per turn, when a monster declares an attack, target uh, one other heroic monster you control. This gains attack equal to that monster's attack until the end of the battle phase. Okay. I will summon Spartan. And Spartan will attack Gaga -ga Child. Then end my turn. And I will set Sword Shield. Then end my turn. Yes, activate Lionheart's effect. Getting rid of a curry vault. Okay. Oh. I will set Night Watchman and end my turn. I will set Ambush Soldier and end my turn. And I will set Clasp Sword and end my turn.
and I will go with scissors. Hmm. Okay. I will set to Call of the Haunted. And summon Curry Bolt. Actually, that was a bad idea. Then end my turn. Normal summon. When you normal summon a warrior, you can special summon this from your hand. Cannot be used. Okay. When this is normal summon, special summon one double lance from your hand or graveyard. Hmm. So I will summon heroic challenger Spartan. And special summon. Blue Mountain Butter Spy. And XYZ Summon Gandiva. Gandiva will attack Gagaga -ga Gardena. And end my turn. Haunted to bring back Gandiva. And I will summon Heroic Challenger Double Lance. Gandiva will attack Gaga -ga Gardena. And end my turn. Soul Charge to bring back Spartan and Blue Mountain Butter Spy. Mm -hmm. 
an XYZ summon Kusanage. Negate the activation of a track card, destroy it, and this gains 500 attack. Hmm. Okay. Well, ending my turn. I will set Call of the Haunted. Gandiva will attack Gagaga -ga -ga Gardna. And Kusanage will do the same. And end my turn. to bring back Curry Vault. And I will summon Curry Vault. only be summoned from the deck by it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, I will end my turn. And hope Utopia does not attack a Curry Vault. Yes. Activate Call of the Haunted to bring back Gandiva. Summon Ambush Soldier, or no, I won't. I will summon Curry Vault. And XYZ summon Lionheart with all three Curry Vaults. Gandiva will attack the face down. Lionheart will attack Utopia Ray. Yes, activate Lionheart's effect. Getting rid of a curry bolt. And end. 
and in my turn. I will activate reinforcement of the army. Let's see, who do I want? Well, okay, thinking I'll go with clasped sword, and I will set ambush soldier. Lionheart will attack Utopia. And activate its effect, getting rid of a curry vault, and ending my turn. Lionheart will attack Utopia Ray and activate its effect, getting rid of the final Curry Vault, and ending my turn. go with scissors. Okay. So, I will... I will set Call of the Haunted and summon Spartan, then end my turn. to bring back Spartan. I will summon Extra Sword. And activate Blue Mountain Butter Spy's effect to summon it in defense position. And XYZ summon. Hmm. I'll go with Kusanage. Two 
Yasunage will attack Utopia Ray. Then end my turn. I will activate reinforcement of the army to put another double lance in my hand. Face up mon XYZ monsters with two or more materials cannot be destroyed after damage calculation if an XYZ battles your opponent's monster, destroy the opponent's monster. That XYZ monster must have two or more XYZ materials to resolve the effect. Okay, so I will set XYZ tribal rivals and summon double lance and use its effect summon the one in my hand and XYZ summon Gandiva And Iva will attack the face down, and Kusanage will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. Yes, I will activate Tribal Rivals. Gandiva will attack the face down, and Kusanage will make a direct attack. Okay. A Sea of Troubles. It's like Shark versus his sister. Okay. Yuma and friends traveled to the next location. The airship came to a halt in the middle of the ocean. Rio, are you sure this is where the ruins are? The coordinates say it is. This is definitely the place. Rio suddenly seemed hypnotized and dove into the ocean. And Shark quickly dove after her. Yuma and Astral went after them and Yuma awakened in a strange location. Yuma, wake up, Yuma. I guess I must have blacked out for a while there. Where are we? It appears we are beneath the bottom of the ocean. Ryo's here too, somewhere. Ryu has some kind of mysterious power. She can see things that you and I can't. I wouldn't be surprised if one bit if what she saw led her to this place. Shark, Yuma, and Astral were separated by a huge labyrinth. Eventually, Shark found Ryu. You found one of the numbers. What's wrong? I've been waiting for you a very long time, Reginald Castle. Wait, you're not Ryu. No, my name is Abyss. So you're a number guardian, and you used Ryo to bring us here, didn't you? You are here because it is your destiny to battle me. I will if you can defeat me. I'll defeat you, and I'll do whatever it takes to get my sister back. 
Okay, story deck. And I will go with scissors. Okay. And I will be back in a minute. And, okay, I am back. So, let's see. Shark Drake with four level, f or Shark Drake Vice with four level four. Or, uh, excuse me. 
or Shark Drake. And Shark Drake with three level four. Black Ray Lancer with two level three. Okay. Okay. When normal summon, target one face-up spell and destroy it. Hmm. When normal summoned, no trap cards can be activated. And special summon this card by detaching two XYZ from a monster you control. Target two fish type in your graveyard and special summon those. Hmm. Metabo Shark can be normal when it's normal summon. Target two fish type in your graveyard, shuffle them back into the deck. When normal summoned, reduce the levels of all level four fish type monsters you control by one. Can make a second attack during each battle phase. So I will summon Hammer Shark. Activate its effect. The special summon Creeping Doom Manta. So I'm wondering why Skull Kraken. Well, probably because it's not a fish. Or no, because it's a dark monster, not a water monster. Okay. And I'll go with attack position. Hmm. Creeping Doom Manta will attack the face down. Okay, that was a bad idea. And XYZ summon Black Ray Lancer. That's a fact. Cannot targ up, uh, target face-up water monsters for attacks, except this one. Okay. And I'll end my turn. Shark. Actually, 300, so that's already 2100 attack, but yeah. Okay. Yep, I will summon Metabo Shark. Yes, activate its effect. To shuffle Hammer Shark and Creeping Doom Manta back into the deck. Metabo Shark will attack Maramal Abyss Lung and end my turn.
Okay. Once per turn during either player's turn. Uh, it is attacked to zero. Uh, once per turn, target one monster with zero attack and destroy it. Okay. So, I will set Skull Kraken. And end my turn. Okay. Rank 4 XYZ monsters do not have a level. Yeah, I kind of know that. Not really a helpful tip, even <laughs> if I had specific cards. Okay. So they definitely weren't trying for a tip for that duel. Uh, okay. <laughs> and rock. Fish, Sea, Serpent, or Monster you control is targeted for an attack. You can banish this from the graveyard. Okay. Okay, I think... I will summon Hammer Shark. Activate the effects of shark, sni uh, shark stickers. And activate Hammer Shark's effect to summon Thriller Rabka. And XYZ summon. Black Ray Lancer with Thriller Rabka and Shark Stickers. And set to Call of the Haunted. Then end my turn. The attack of the monster that destroyed this becomes zero, can banish this, then target one set spell trap card. Okay. I will summon Metabo Shark. And change Black Ray Lancer to Defense Mode. Battle phase. Meta or nope. Hammer Shark will attack. Followed by Metabo Shark. Then end my turn. Okay. Hammer Shark will attack the face down. Okay. Ending my turn.
כן. Activate Call of the Haunted to bring back, I'll say, Krill or Rabka, since it doesn't really matter which of the two. I should have waited till the end of the battle phase to activate it anyways. Uh, no. <sighs> Actually, yes, I will activate the other Call of the Haunted to bring back Black Ray Lancer. And I will summon Creeping Doom Manta. And change Friller Rabka to defense position. XYZ summon Black Ray Lancer with Hammer Shark and Creeping Doom Manta. And activate Swords of Revealing Light. Then end my turn. And I will summon Spear Shark. Activating its effect, and Spear Shark will attack the face down. Of course it is. Followed by Black Ray Lancer. Ouch. Okay. Ending my turn. I will summon Spear Shark and show card list Shark Drake. Once per turn, when this destroys an opponent's monster and sends it to the graveyard, detach one to special summon. It loses 1000 attack. If you do summon this way, you can make a second attack. And Shark Drake Vice. Uh, during either player's turn, if you have 1,000 or less ex life points, detach one XYZ from this to banish one monster from your graveyard and target a monster on the field. Target's attack and defense become zero. Okay. So close. I will activate Black Ray Lancer's effect. getting rid of Hammer Shark and negating Gorgonic Guardian's effect. So Spear Shark will attack the face down. Okay. 
and Black Ray Lancer will attack Mermel and uh, Abyss Mander. And okay. I will XYZ summon Shark Drake. my turn. Okay. I will summon Big Jaws. forgot about Gorgonic Guardian's effect, so I will end my turn. Of course, the one defense I had gets destroyed. Okay. I will set Shocktopus and change both of my monsters to defense mode and end my turn. Activate Shocktopus. Okay. The Sea of Trouble. And I will go with Scissors. And I'll go first. Set Call of the Haunted. And summon Big Jaws. Then end my turn. Summon Creeping Doom Manta. Change all monsters your opponent controls to defense position. Okay. Oh, and Creeping Doom Manta will attack. Then end my turn. destroyed in battle. Hmm. Okay. So 
I will summon Shocktopus, or will I? When normal summoned, increase the levels of all level 3 fish type. Uh, no, I'll summon Shocktopus. And Shocktopus will attack Mermail Abysnos. And Creeping Doom Manta will make a direct attack. Then end my turn. just have Shark Drake, Shark Drake Vice, and Black Ray Lancer, so yeah. I will summon Spear Shark. And activate its effect. Shocktopus will attack the face down. Okay. Probably should have attacked with spear sharks, consider uh, considering its uh, ability. But anyways, okay. And X Y Z summon shark drake. End my turn. Of course. Of course. Fat Shocktopus and end my turn. Yes, activate Shocktopus. Level 4 or higher monsters cannot attack directly. Send one face-up card from the field to the graveyard to target two level 3 or lower water monsters of the same name in the graveyard and special summon them. Their effects are negated. Okay, yeah. I will set Bubble Bringer. And... Summon Metabo Shark. Activating its effects. To shuffle Spear Shark and Shocktopus back into the deck. Metabo Shark will attack Gorgonic Guardian. Then end my turn. Yes, activate Bubble Bringer. Not 
good. Okay. I will set big jaws and end my turn. Okay. Sea of Troubles. Scissors. Okay. I will set Mirror Force as soon as my turn comes around. And let's see. I will summon Big Jaws and end my turn. If you control Gorgonic Goal, you can pay 300 life points to special summon this from your hand. Okay. So I will summon Creeping Doom Manta. Hmm. Battle phase. And Big Jaws will attack the face down. And Creeping Doom Manta will attack Gorgonic Ghoul. Oh, I forgot about that effect. Okay. Ending my turn. Summon Metabo Shark. But I only have one fish type in the graveyard, okay. And Metabo Shark will attack Gorgonic Gargoyle. And end my turn. I will activate Mystical Space Typhoon to get rid of the face down. Okay. Okay. I will s set Friller Raska and Ma uh, Metabo Shark will attack the face down and end my turn. I will flip summon Thriller Rabka and summon Spear Shark, activating its effect. Okay. Spear Shark will attack the face down. And followed by direct attacks from Metabo Shark and Friller Rabka. And then XYZ summoning 
Shark Drake. And ending my turn. Summon Spear Shark. Okay. Spear Shark will attack the face down, followed by a direct attack from Shark Drake. Okay. Why did you attack me? I only followed your orders. I gave no such orders. Yes, you did. You just do not remember it, for it was a time during, for it was during a time when you were still a barian. What a barian? My duty is complete. Farewell. Wait! Don't leave. This is my number. Rio, I'm confused. Are we humans or are we Barians? Okay. And from Rio's side of things. I will go with scissors. I'll go first. Give me a second to plug in my other computer. Normal summon. Take all rock monsters you control because. Oh, hmm. Gorgonic Ghoul. When this destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can discard one water monster and special summon Mermel monster from your deck face up defense position. Interesting. And Cyber Shark. If you control a water monster, you can normal summon this without tributing. Okay. So I will summon Gorgonic Golem. And end my turn.
Its attack equal to its rank times 200. If the equipped monster you control would detach this to activate its effect, you can detach this as one of the XYZ materials. Okay. Okay. I will set. Yep, I will set Gorgonic Ghoul and end my turn. Okay, I will summon Mermail Abyss Nose. And attack the face down. But I'm not going to use its effect and end my turn. I will set Mermail Abyss Lung and end my turn. I will set Call of the Haunted and Gorgonic Cerberus, then end my turn. this card from your graveyard to activate one of the effects. Hmm. Okay. I will set Call of the Haunted and Mermail Abyss Long. Then end my turn. Call of the Haunted to bring back Abyss Lung. And I will 
change Abyss Lung back to defense mode. And summon Cyber Shark without tributing. And Cyber Shark will attack Black Ray Lancer. Then end my turn. I will summon Cyber Shark without tributing. Let's see, once per turn during either player's turn, detach material, double this as attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Any battle damage inflict to your opponent this turn is halved. Okay, close. So I will end my turn. I will activate Mystical Space Typhoon, targeting Swords of Revealing Light. And I will set Mermail Abyssmander. Then XYZ summon Abyss Splash. Detach an XYZ material. Double its attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Any battle damage? Yes. Abyss Splash. Getting rid of a Cyber Shark. Oh. And I'm also equipping an XYZ unit to it. Battle phase. Abyss Splash will attack Shark Drake. Then ending my turn. If I remembered I had the XYZ unit, I might not have used Abyss Splash's effect.
required for Dardonic Guardian. Okay. So I will set Giant Soldier of Stone. And Abyss Slash will attack Metabo Shark. And end my turn. I will summon Gorgonic Golem. And flip summon Giant Soldier of Stone. To XYZ summon Gorgonic Guardian. One face-up monster your opponent controls has its attack zero effects last until the end of the turn can destroy a monster with zero attack. Okay. So, battle phase. Gorgonic Guardian will attack a face down. As Abyss, uh, Abyss Splash will attack Black Ray Lancer. So, okay, and end in my turn. I will equip an XYZ unit to Gorgonic Guardian. And summon Mermel Abyss Nose. Mermail will attack the face down. Gorgonic Guardian will attack it. And Abyss Splash will attack. Then ending my turn. I will set Gorgonic Gargoyle. And, okay. Mermail Abyss Nose will attack the face down. And 
Gorgonic Guardian will make a direct attack. Yes, activate Gorgonic Guardian's effect, changing the attack of the monster, changing Shark Drake to zero. Oh, select XYZ materials to detach. Okay, I'll remove Giant Soldier of Stone to reduce Shark Drake to zero. Continue the attack, attacking Shark Drake. Okay, and Abyss Splash will attack Shark Drake. A world of chaos. Ha 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 ha. Well, look who it is. Yuma and Astral. Number 96. I've been looking forward to our rematch. We must not lose. Shall we high-five the sky? Yeah. Story deck. Okay, rock. Leo Arms, okay, Utopia Ray Victory, Utopia Ray, Utopia, Terror Bite, Leviathan Dragon, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja, Excalibur, Gaga Ga Cowboy, and Baby Dragon, okay. So, I will summon Goblinberg. And, and with him, I think Go 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 Golem. Then XYZ summon Utopia. Send one fiend type to the graveyard and special summon. Okay. So, battle phase. Utopia will attack Malice Forest Fork. No. I should have equipped uh, Slefnir Mail before that. But either way. was destroyed by an opponent's card. You can target one Utopia in your graveyard and special summon it. Yep. So, main phase two, and I'll equip Slefnir Mail to Utopia. 
then end my turn. Okay, I will summon Go 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 Golem. Go, 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 Golem will attack a face down. As will Utopia. Then end my turn. Yes. I will activate Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy the face down. Okay, and I will summon Gaga Ga Magician. Then XYZ summon another Utopia. Both Utopias will make direct attacks. And end my turn. Target one Utopia you control, equip this from your hand. Gains 1,000 attack while this is equipped. That monster can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Can only control one ZW Ashura Strike. Okay, so I will equip that one to the same Utopia as my yeah, other Zaxel weapon. Left near uh, male. And, okay. Battle phase. Utopia will attack the face down. Okay. And the stronger Utopia will attack both Cherry and Mato. Okay, and ending my turn. And there's an error on Twitch, so I have to refresh the page, so I won't be able to see chat or video for a minute. Okay. So I will summon Goblinberg. Okay. Goblinberg will attack. Followed by Utopia. Okay. It was a bit anticlimactic, but okay. I knew we could do it, Astral. I guess we're pretty good team. We're a pretty good team. I lost the duel. I cannot believe it. It's all over. For you, that is. Astral. You can't get rid of me that easy. You may have won the duel, but I still have enough power to finish you once and for all. Yuma. Astral. Yuma, your friend can't help you anymore. In fact, he can't even help himself. 
I will destroy everything. I will not let this happen. Yuma, it will be okay. Ah, uh, Astral. Yuma, I'm glad you're safe. You totally got rid of number 96, but we're supposed to beat him together. I could not take the chance and risk your safety. What? We're a team. Yes, we are, and friends, and I will always treasure our friendship. Vector met with Don Thousand. Welcome to my sacred domain. Don Thousand? Few mortals ever gained entry. You should consider this a great honor. I do, in fact, I'm not even sure I'm worthy to be here. Hey, is that what I think it is? Number 96? Correct. Astral was unable to destroy all his power. So naturally, what was left returned to its rightful owner. Are you employing that, implying that that's you? How could that be? Because number 96 was originally part of me. When I battled with Astral, I attacked with such fury that a splinter of my dark power buried itself within his heart. Of course, I wondered how someone like Astral could have such a vile being inside of him. Okay. And a world of chaos from a uh, dark mist perspective. Story deck. And I will go with paper. Okay, let's see. Chaos 96, Dark Storm. 4, level 3. Okay. And Dark Mist is 3, level 2s. During either player's turn. Yep, 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 yep. So, let's see. If you control a dark monster, you can special summon this from your hand. When this card is normal summoned, target one Malasevirus monster in your graveyard except Malasevirus knife. Okay. Send one other fiend type from your hand to the graveyard to special summon this from your hand. Let's see, that's a plant. So, okay. Okay. So I will activate Melisevorous Fork to special summon it by getting rid of Melisevorous Knife. I will special summon Caligo Clockrow. And summon Cherry Emato. Then XYZ summon Dark Mist. During either player's turn, when attack is declared, Detach an XYZ material, have the attack of the opponent's monster, and this gains the same. Okay. So I will set XYZ Reborn, 
and end my turn. Okay, the chat failed to load on Twitch, so refreshing again. You can special summon this card and one level 4 or lower fiend type from your hand. You cannot normal summon or set during the turn you activate this. You can only use uh, the effect once per turn. Okay. I will set XYZ Reborn. Once per battle. Okay. So, battle phase. Dark Mist will attack Utopia. And activate Dark Mist effect. Getting rid of Malasevorous Fork. Okay, and ending my turn. Activate Dark Mist Effect, getting rid of Caligo Clawcrow. Yes, activate XYZ Reborn, summon Dark Mist. I will set, or no, I will activate Umbral, or no I won't, I will summon Giant Germ, Battle Phase, Giant Germ will attack Gaga Ga Cowboy. And Dark Mist will attack Utopia Ray, activating its effect and getting rid of XYZ Reborn. And ending my turn. Okay, Twitch is back up. Okay, I will activate the effect of Umbral Horror Ghost. Special summon with Melisevorous Fork. And XYZ summon Dark Mist. Ending my turn. Okay, let's 
let's see, Dark Storm. Uh, cannot be destroyed in battle. All battle damage you take is also inflicted on your opponent. If this card has Dark Mist, it gains the effect. Once per battle during either player's turn, an attack is declared. An opponent's monster, you can detach an XYZ material. The attack of the opponent's monster becomes zero, and if it does, this card gains attack equal to its original attack. Okay. So I will activate Rank Up Magic, Baryon's Force. Targeting Dark Mist to turn it into Chaos. 96, Dark Storm. And taking material from Gaga Ga Cowboy, taking XYZ Reborn. Okay. And ending my turn. Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this from your hand. Once per turn during the end phase, this card was tributed. This turn to tribute, summon a hero monster, draw one card. Okay. So I doubt I'll use that effect, but the special summoning might happen. So, battle phase. Dark Storm will attack Utopia. And activate Dark Storm's effect. Getting rid of Giant Germ. And ending my turn. Yes. Activate Dark Storm's effect. Getting rid of Malaseverus Fork. Okay. Dark Storm will attack Gaga Ga Cowboy. And end my turn. Dark Storm will attack Bacon Saver and end my turn. And it seems the video on Twitch is frozen, so I'm going to refresh. And I can already see chat again. Good. Just waiting for the video to load up. Okay. When a fiend type you control is targeted for an attack, 
target the opponent's attacking monster and the, uh, that monster you control. Destroy both targets if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the opponent's monster. Okay. I will set Hate Buster. Dark Storm will attack the face down and end my turn. Okay. Well. Hmm. It's a fiend. That's a also a fiend. Um. Okay, I will set Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy. And Dark Storm will attack the face down. Then end my turn. I will flip summon Infernal Prodigy and summon Malaceverous Knife using its effect to bring back Malaceverous Fork. And I will XYZ summon Dark Mist. will attack the face down and dark mist will make a direct attack then end my turn okay I will activate Umbral Horror Ghost effect to special summon it alongside Malaceverous Fork, which will both go into defense position. And special summon Caligo Claw Crow. Dark Storm will attack the face down. Calico Claw Crow will make a direct attack, followed by Dark Mist, and ending my turn. Okay, Twitch is up, running perfectly fine now. Okay. Okay. When exactly one monster with 1,500 or less attack is special summoned to your field while an uh, opponent controls a face-up monster. Okay. Interesting. And ending my turn.
Dark Storm will attack the face down, followed by direct attacks from Caligo Clawcrow and Dark Mist. Then ending my turn. Okay. Battle phase. Calico Caligo Clockrow will make a direct attack, followed by Dark Storm and Dark Mist. And ending my turn. Hmm. Seems like both sides of this duel <laughs> were one-sided, but anyways. I will activate Rank Up Magic Varian's Force to change Dark Mist into Dark Storm. Dark Storm will attack the face down. And end my turn. Figured. Oh well. Uh, Cancel. No point in activating that effect. Okay. So I will change Claw Crow into defense mode. Dark Storm will attack Utopia Ray. Okay. What? Oh. Let's see, the next ones will be Clash of Emperors. Not sure who either of those will be. And another one that looks a bit confusing. Then Yuma versus whoever the the one on the left is in Clash of the Emperors. And after that, Dark Mist or Astral versus Yuma. Okay, only four more to go. Okay. So, 84.3% sixty four percent for the campaign overall. Anyways, this has been Azriel Wavern playing Yu Gi Oh Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>